So the first thing we're going to do to make these pajamas is cut out the pattern piece. So we have to trace over something that already fits our child, leaving enough room for seam allowance and at the top to put the elastic in. Now we need to cut two for the front and two for the back. So there will be two of opposites. So basically turn the fabric so that the right side is down and then the right side is up so that you have two of each. I am making the front and back pieces of the shorts by lining them up right sides together and pinning down the center seam and then I will go over to my machine and sew the center seam. And I'm going to be matching it up the front and the back right sides together and sewing down the sides. And next I'm going to be sewing up the crotch. So I put a pin to line up the front seam to the back seam and then just sew all the way around from one leg over to the other. Then I bring it over to my serger to finish up all those raw edges. You could also use a zigzag stitch. And now I'm ironing down the waistband to make room for my elastic, making sure it's straight and has plenty of room to put um, however thick of elastic you want through it. So I sew it all the way around. I measured the elastic earlier by um, wrapping it around my child to see what size they were. And I add a very large safety pin. The bigger, the better as far as pulling it through faster. And I work that elastic just all the way through until I can bring it out the other side. And then I sew the piece, um, each piece making sure that they are not overlapping in a weird way like twist or anything and then I sew them together. I actually sew in more than one spot so that I'm sure um, it won't come loose. Next I just sew up that area that I left open to pull the elastic through to kind of finish it off making sure to back and forward stitch. Okay, so I cut these out in such a way that you shouldn't have to hem the bottom if you cut it right because we cut it to where the sheet was actually hemmed already, but I found that I had cut them too long. So I had found myself having to re-hem them to the right size for my daughter. So I basically just um, pressed it an inch and another inch to hide the raw edge inside and went around with um, the seam. I think I did about an inch because I like wide seams. Now I'm going to show you how to make the pajama top. I have a whole set of measurements on the blog for different sizes. For this particular set, and it was for my seven-year-old daughter, so I cut this one 20 inches wide and 19 inches long. I made sure to cut two because I'm going to have to sew the front to the back. Um, I also used the pattern piece from the blog to cut the little arm ends. I then brought both pieces over to my machine and lined up the side seams and sewed both side seams right sides together. I took the top over to my ironing board to make a casing for the elastic, pressing it a half inch down and then another half inch and repeating on the other side. I sewed down my elastic casing with about a half inch seam on both sides. I 
I measured two 8 inch pieces of 1 quarter inch elastic and then put a safety pin through it to bring it through my casing. When my elastic was almost through, I secured it with a pin to be sure it wouldn't come all the way through so I could sew it in place. I then added the elastic with the safety pin to the back side of the shirt pinned it in place and then stitched in all four spots to keep the elastic in place. The last step in the project is to create the straps. So I measured two 18 inch pieces of some thin double fold bias tape and starting at the arm seam, I sandwiched the raw edge between the bias tape, sewing it and then um, pulling it all the way up and over and lining up the other side like I'm doing here and then sew all the way around, even top stitching the top part and the two end pieces meet in the middle seam at the arm. This step can be a little bit tricky, but if you use the thicker bias tape, it is definitely a lot easier. You can also use pins to make sure they meet in the middle at the seam. After you have your straps all done, this is an excellent time to add some eyelet or lace or any other little sweet embellishments anywhere that you want to.